Walmart employees, what's the most piply off women thing you've ever seen at an actual store? Had to convert surveillance video footage to DVD for an attorney a while back, was footage of a lady, clear as day, cracking open a bottle of olive oil, pouring some out on the floor, then putting on a nearby shelf. She then looks around and walks over to the spill and slips and falls. So funny to watch. It was one of those projects where I was calling people over to my desk, you gotta see this. She should have had someone else spill it lol. I worked at Walmart in the garden department, briefly in the early 90s. I am going to take a break and walk past the deodorant aisle and I see this huge guy, maybe 350 pounds, in a wife beater, put on some deodorant, put the cap back on and put it back on the shelf. Told my manager about it and he said it happens all the time. No. Not much of a story, but I work in the deli, and routinely an absolute giant of a man, width and height, comes in and buys all of my hot wings. I don't exaggerate when I say this guy's an easy 7 feet, because I'm 6 2 inches and this gentleman absolutely towers over me. I fear the day when we run out of the spicy goodness and he vaporizes me with his immense strength. Wall of meat and muscle, herald of Walmart, claimer of hot wings. We had to ban a guy once for taking the motorized scooter into the family washroom, get wasted, and crap his pants. When I used to work there I was standing at the front once and an old man came up to me with his crap covered underwear in his hand saying he had an accident. Then I followed a crap trail all the way to the washroom where it looked like a crap bomb went off. I worked maintenance there. One day I was out retrieving carts, when loss prevention called out for help. She caught our pharmacist stealing a bottle of dish detergent. He struggled. Hard, way harder than the situation called for. During the struggle, pharmacist's jacket came off and numerous pill bottles scattered across the parking lot. He had a good scam ruined by a $2 bottle of dish soap. Decades ago, I knew a drug dealer who always made fun of other dealers who got busted for their drugs by running a red light or speeding. He always said don't break the law, while you're breaking the law. My mom worked at Walmart for about a year. She actually liked it as she was more active. But she decided to quit after the jewelry department manager had a meltdown and started throwing jewelry at customers. One old lady got pelted in the head with a heavy ring box and it was over. Turns out the manager was selling the jewelry to friends and family, but would keep the boxes and stuff them with rocks and trash so inventory would stay the same. She had the meltdown before she was caught. I mean if you're the one managing it you could probably put some crap pawn shop trash ring in a more expensive box and then sell the good one to someone for more or even buy bulk good fakes online and do the same. I worked at another, similar retail store until yesterday and literally yesterday a woman left her severely mentally disabled son alone in the store for over an hour. I ended up hanging with him to make sure he didn't hurt himself or someone else. Mom was nowhere to be found until I was complaining about it to a co-worker and suddenly she is right there looking indignant that someone dare question her parenting methods. I worked in a neighborhood market in Tennessee. One day a heavy storm rolled in as I was pushing carts. As I was pushing in my last row, I saw a man walking towards the entrance. And since it was raining it looks like he was wearing a white suit with yellow polka dots. I go inside. Turns out it's a very thin Spongebob Onishi. He wasn't wearing underwear. It was not a good day for my eyes. Ravioli ravioli show me the genitally. I once worked in the fabric sewing department and was asked to cover hardware while the guy was on break. I wasn't trained on how to mix paint. So worst case scenario I bother the guy if need be. Easy enough right? Not even 10 minutes later an older. 65 plus. Customer comes up asking about a vacuum in the aisle. I go to see if I can assist him with questions. He asks if he can open it and try it out in store. I say no. He opens it and starts assembling it right in front of me. Of course this is the moment my co-worker comes back to find me staring dumbfoundedly at this old man. This is old, so I'm probably wasting my time. But, I worked in the garden center at a Walmart and we had our own gate entrance as many other garden centers do. Since we had our own entrance we had our own greeter, let's call him Dale. 
Dale was in an electric wheelchair and was a Vietnam vet. He had an accident after the war that involved his neck so he was pretty much a quadriplegic, but his arms did work a little and he could check receipts with them. Dale took nobody's crap, so we would always frick with him to get him going. Our favorite move was to sneak up on him when he was sleeping and jack up his wheelchair with a pallet jack so he couldn't go anywhere. Dale took his job very seriously, and one day someone tried the Olay Walmart dash with a big butt stereo system but they had no car waiting outside. I'm pretty sure they figured they could get out of our door because of Dale's condition and all, but little did they know they was fricking with the baddest employee Walmart had. Dale tore after this guy through the parking lot with his chair, nipping the backs of his heels with the metal footrests. The guy had no choice but to ditch the massive box and full on sprint away from our attack quadriplegic. Dale then got in front of the box and pushed it with his footrests all the way back to the store as happy as he could be. R.I.P. Dale. We need more like Dale. I worked at Walmart a long time ago. I once saw an older man in his mid 40s, 250 pounds, walking around in construction boots, daisy dukes, and a pink belly shirt. At least he was confident. I also had someone crap in the middle of the shoe aisle, then left a trail of crap from there to the front doors and then threw their dirty underwear in a bush. So happy I didn't have to clean that up. The mad pooper. I was there getting an eye exam in the vision center, and when I walked by one of the rooms, there was an old man eating a piece of fried chicken while he got his eye exam. Nice. I remember one time close to close, these two guys come in. I didn't mind, the guys were usually quick and only wanted food. To my surprise, they come to my cash, and one had shoes in his hand and a tag. Whatever, I notice he's really jovial and couldn't stand still longer than 2 seconds. Finally figure out he's completely wasted. The other guy was his friend and thankfully sober. Drunk guy excitedly says he's wearing the shoes he bought so that's why he's carrying his other ones and has the tag. Well, that's no big deal to me. People do that all the time. So I said okay, and wasn't really paying attention to what my screen said and politely said, may I put your shoes in a bag with a tag, just in case, yeah, what an awesome idea. Thanks he paused and started bouncing like a little kid. Can I show you my new shoes? Can I? Can I? His friend shrugged and shot me a look. Well, seemed harmless, right? I said, sure to humor him. He then shows me pink slippers. No kidding. I stared and then pasted a smile. Yeah, they're nice. He's absolutely giddy with excitement and just as I was going to point out something. He grabs the bag after paying and shouts thank you then proceeds to run outside as happy as can be, in the pouring rain. Not all drugs are good, some of them are great, just gotta know your way around them is all. Not that this is really purely often that specific, but hey, I've been catcalled in the daytime, while working. I worked in the produce section so I had on those green aprons and my hair up in a ponytail. Know what's great? The look on a guy's face when he realizes he just whistled at my butt while I was stocking shelves. Except I'm a dude. I've been missed, mammed, darlinged, hey hot stuffed. I used to have long hair and the number of times waitresses would come up from behind while I was sitting and see long hair and assume a woman. Only for me to laugh at them while they apologized profusely, and me saying don't worry about it while laughing. P. When I worked there, there was a dancer or waitress, likely the former, who always came in with tons of $1 bills. She was problematic, so I tried to avoid being her cashier. One night I was the only one working, and she starts her order. It's pretty late, and she has her daughter who is playing with markers that the woman gave her to occupy her. She doesn't want to buy them. Couldn't if she wanted. They're scattered throughout the store. I scan tons of things, and we get to the end, and she doesn't have enough money. Cue voiding items. Checking price. Putting them back on. I recall that she took off the diapers but kept some superfluous stuff. We get to the end of her order, and she finally pays. I've got more than half her crap plus the mostly empty box of markers on the belt. I print her receipt twice so I can't take a look. She bought 12 items. It took a freaking hour. There were something like 40 voided items. Ridiculous. I refuse to believe people are this oblivious to what they're doing. I worked at Walmart a few years ago. I don't really have many personal experiences with people like that. 
but one of my co-workers told me something that happened to him once. Apparently, some butthole customer took one of the mouse traps and hid it at the back of one of the shelves. Poor co-worker reached in and got his hand caught in it. IDK if that's a people of Walmart thing or a people of scumbags thing. But it certainly didn't sound pleasant. Scumbags. I worked at one of the older Walmart stores. Not Super Center. Back in 1998. I don't recall much of the customers. Except Ms. Alan. Ms. Alan was this elderly woman. Whom everybody knew. Who had a bad stutter. She apparently lived alone and had really poor hygiene skills. Her hair was always frizzy. And she often smelled of terrible B.O. She would always put $100 or so worth of granny panties on layaway, pay her minimum deposit, 10% at a time, I think, then come back a month later, 60 day layaway, but it was recommended you make a payment in 30 days, didn't have to, but it was recommended, and cancel the layaway, not pay it off, cancel, as in get her money back, you were allowed up to 3. 3. Layaway accounts at a time, which she did. She had been caught shoplifting a time or two at both the Walmart and at the Kmart in the same town. She always carried this giant purse in the baby seat of the cart, big enough to probably smuggle out a TV. She was caught a few times trying to make off with the granny panties. When loss prevention and the local police department tried to question her, she'd try speaking with the really bad stutter, and they had to just let her go. I saw a cashier co-worker get arrested at her cash register for theft. She had been air scanning items and giving them away to her friends and family. When I worked as a cashier someone gave me fake $100 so badly made the ink smeared when I scratched the corner. I had to walk away from my register and notify the floor manager. To my surprise the people didn't seem to understand what was happening and waited there until the cops showed up and arrested them. They literally did not move from the line. At one point asked me what the holdup was and I even told them it was because their money was fake. Not a good idea but these people were really dumb. I saw a man run from our loss prevention officer and get caught and a woman came out of nowhere and attacked the loss prevention officer while screaming I'm pregnant. The cops came. She actually was not pregnant but the wife of the man caught stealing. They were both arrested. I doubt the people knew the bill was fake if they just stood around waiting for cops. Chances are they haven't had a whole lot of new hundreds in their hands to compare real to fake. I saw a dwarf security guard take a flying leap into and beat the living crap out of a 60 year old black man in a Hawaiian shirt who was trying to steal about $600 worth of steak. The steak guy. He did this once a month or so. He would just fill up his shopping cart with steaks, briskets, pork ribs, etc. Head up to the front. Act like he was going to check out, then barrel through the exit doors and dump it into a waiting truck. They never got a clear plate and were trying to catch him in the act. I was working my counter and heard behind me so don't do it. Just step away from the cart. Walmart security is plain clothes, and has no legal authority. They can detain you, and defend themselves, but they can't restrain you. You can leave whenever you want, I believe from what I remember. So I turn around and I see this guy with the shopping cart full of steaks, and he's looking cagey as heck. He's starting to stammer, and come up with excuses while simultaneously trying to play it off. So just come with us please. Let go of the cart so the guard trying to get him calm was the head of security there. He was a chill guy in his 30s, but built like a brick shithouse. You might think he was chubby if you looked at him. You wouldn't dream he could bench like 340 plus lbs. So the steak guy, he makes his break. He tries to blow past Chubb's mickmuscles, and they end up going into a stack of DVDs. Then came Eric. Eric was a, I'm honestly not sure he would qualify as a dwarf. Perhaps just a guy with a growing disability. He was about 4 feet tall, maximum. He would look like a 12 year old except for the fact that he was completely freaking yoked. He was one of those just itching for action type guys. He seemed like he had something to prove. So muscle chubs and steak guy are now down in the DVDs, and steak guy goes to get up, and here comes Eric. I'm probably wrong, but I swear in my mind I heard ni i i i i i i and the little sucker leapt through the air, both feet out, and just cannonballed this guy in the chest feet first. He went down again. I heard chubs yell Eric know as he scrambled onto the guy's chest, 
and just started throwing little hands into this dude's face. Just wham 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 wham. This is not what they teach you to do in Walmart security. Loss prevention I think is the official department. Eric was fired pretty much immediately. Walmart got sued and they'd have been better off just letting the guy run out with the stakes. But boy what to show. Eric no. Meanwhile he's thinking. Eric yes. I worked at a Phoenix area Walmart in the late 2000s. We used to have a customer come in dressed head to toe in a baby outfit complete with a bonnet, a pacifier and adult diapers. It was a middle aged white guy. The first time I ever saw him I freaked out but everyone else what like oh that's baby guy. Apparently he was a normal guy with a wife and a baby and one day he just snapped and decided to live the rest of his life as a baby. He would pay people to come to his house and change him and feed him in a high chair etc. He was a minor celebrity in the area before he passed away. I remember that guy. I was working at Quick Trip at the time and had to ask for his id so he could buy some smokes. If this says anything about the associates, just last week I was in the employee bathroom when another associate walked in. All the stalls were full so he pee in the sink, didn't wash hands, and left. This is why I avoid Walmart bathrooms like the plague. There's something about Walmart stores that make people lose their sense of normal human behavior. I'm walking to my car after I clock out. Some guy pulls up beside me and asks do know where Walmart is and I asked the soup person to, or, I was about to ask him the soup person to or the other neighborhood market and where I live there are two neighborhood markets and one soup person to, and he said no a neighborhood market then I pointed to the big butt sign that says Walmart neighborhood market and I told him you're at a neighborhood market. So he looks at the sign and back at me puts his thumb up and says appreciate it and drove out of the parking lot. Are the all gotta avoid the wife scenario. Finally something I can answer. Worked at Walmart for 5 years and saw women with a live goose in her shopping cart. She said it was a service goose and the store can't ask to see papers so. Guy with a live goats in his cart. A game said it was a service animal. Guy are whacking one out in the bathroom. Another guy walking around the store in just an overcoat with no pants or shorts on and pretty sure no underwear. It was just enough to cover the naughty parts. He was walking around with his hands in the coat's pockets and I'm pretty sure he was working up the courage to flash someone. Was stocking candy and a kid with his parents came down the aisle. They kept looking and stuff and the boy said he needed the bathroom. Mom told him to hold it. Well they kept looking at candy for 7 or 8 minutes with the boy getting louder and louder about the need to pee. He finally went all over the floor, was in the parking lot and saw a car pull put off a parking space and drive right into one of the light poles. No idea how anyone could miss it as they are painted yellow for a reason. Went to a Walmart on a Friday night at midnight in Missouri and immediately saw the most glorious mullet I have ever witnessed. Also a kid pushing a cart so full of Gatorade that the cart looked heavier than the kid. Grew up in Missouri. The best thing is when you witness the rare couple mullet. When both husband and wife have matching, flowing mullets. I don't work at Walmart, but I was once in line behind a woman who was trying to buy a half dozen eggs, though it kept ringing up as a full dozen. The cashier spent several minutes messing around with her computer to try and identify the problem, and finally called over the manager for help. The first thing the manager said was we don't sell half dozens. Did you cut a dozen eggs carton in half the lady responded yeah, I only needed six. The manager's face made me really glad I don't work in retail. There's a gas station near me that does this. Cuts the cartons of eggs, as well as 12 packs of soda and beer. Dozen eggs. Three dollars. Half dozen. One dollar and seventy five cents. At my local Wisconsin Walmart, a female employee was promoted to cashier in the liquor department. This made another female employee jealous because she wanted that job. So she went in there one afternoon and shot her. This made another female employee jealous because she wanted that job. So she went in there one afternoon and shot her. Well that went from 0 to 1 billion real quick. 3 weeks into my sentence at Walmart, a grown adult pooped in one of the food aisles. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Worked at the portrait studio in Walmart. I could watch the pajamas in the daytime and bad hair color parade go by all day from the shop. But the main thing that separates Walmart from any other big box store is the fact that people seem to wait to get to Walmart to take incredible shoots. 
Whether they were shoots that would spray up the wall or solid logs that won't be flushed. People saved them up for Walmart. I used to work at Walmart Corporate HQ and sat with a group of loss prevention associates at our shareholders meeting one year. I asked what was the most ridiculous thing any of them had seen returned. The winning answer IMHO was an opened box of condoms because they were too big. I personally witnessed a woman returning a half-eaten birthday cake because it gave her grandmother diabetes and she had to go to the air. A few years ago my wife saw somebody return an empty drone box because they had lost the drone. People of Target from my 4 years there, the guy who was jacking off onto the front end cap of Aureus, the person who took a dump in a kid training toilet, boxed it back up, and replaced it on the shelf, the guy who disrobed in the entrance, and a bunch of managers had to block views of him by holding up cardboard until the police arrived, the trail of poop that led, family circus dotted line style, up and down and in and out of nearly every aisle in the store until it led me to the abandoned electric scooter that had diarrhea pulled in the seat, dripping on the floor, stay fast, fun, and friendly out there, team members. I don't work there, but a few years ago, a young woman walked into my local Walmart, went straight to the bathroom, then 5 minutes later walked out of the store, it turns out she had given birth in one of the toilets, she left the baby there in the toilet. It was still alive. What the frick? I don't know if you want looks or behavior, so I'll try and cover both. I worked overnight. My store was right across the street from a hospital, but only a couple blocks away from a strip club, so you can only guess the variety of people I saw. I worked on the grocery side of the store, not general merchandise, so I didn't see a lot of crazy stuff. I mostly had to deal with rude idiots, for instance. Customers would refuse to move while I was pulling pallets and insist that I go around them in addition to all the holiday displays and construction. Yeah, that's not happening. Customers getting angry at me that food items didn't come in a smaller size, as if I personally did this to frick them over. Getting hit on by Randus at 1.30 in the morning. Specifically, I had a guy ask me where the bathrooms were as an excuse to talk flirt with me. He also thought telling me he'd just gotten out of prison would really make my panties drop or something. People would open up the cooler doors to the dairy and stick their heads in to ask where products were instead of finding an employee on the floor. Mind, there's a bunch of giant butt cooling fans in the dairy cooler that make it impossible to hear anything. I'd have random butt customers screaming where's the fetter out of freaking nowhere. Scared the crap out of me. Big groups of teenagers that would come in after midnight and ride the scooters around the store and trash the place and generally make a nuisance of themselves. Most of them had to be escorted out by management. Saw a failed sharplifting attempt while on break once. Guy tried to walk out with a couple of flat screen DVs in his cart. Then bolted when the door thing started beeping. The store didn't do much about it. Had a customer threatened to call the store manager and have him fire me. Apparently they were best friends or some crap. Because I wouldn't get him cigarettes. I was up front watching the self checkouts and the door and was told not to leave that area for any reason because we were pathetically understaffed. And the cigarette counter was closed anyway and no amount of explaining would make him stop. It actually egged him on. I was putting my job at risk either way. So I got his dang cigarettes. Had a woman threatened to call the store manager because the eyeshadow she found on a clearance rack had been marked down to $2 and she wanted it for $1. She started screaming and making threats and sat outside on the benches for 3 hours on the phone bitching about the store and how awful we were. And finally, some former friends of mine tried to start crap with me while I was on the clock. They followed me to my department and were opening up all the outside dairy cooler doors to try and scream at me. So I hid in the meat freezer until another employee came through and I told him to get out manager. I literally saw a woman change her baby's diaper in an aisle then drop the diaper full of poop on the floor and continue walking. When I worked at Walmart, a man came in with a pin that said I saw George W. Bush do see. Ask me about it. I didn't it wasn't an interesting story. A couple of employee stories by a customer, if that counts. First one, checking out in a Walmart when the cashier started getting chatty, telling me she mostly worked at WM for the insurance, but her main source of income was as a phone sex operator. 
she told me how much money she made and straight up told me she bet I'd be great at it, too. I'm practically phobic of awkward conversations, so I just mumbled something about not having a good voice for that, at which point she said, oh, you never use your real voice, you make up characters then she proceeded to give me a demo of all of her characters, I didn't go back to that Walmart for years. Second one is all on me. In a different local WM there was one greeter who was super nice and friendly, and I always stopped to chat with him a few minutes but always just about boring stuff like the weather, nothing personal. For a couple of years in my defense I had only ever seen two types of people working as WM greeters, the elderly and the disabled, physical or mental. This guy was not old and had no apparent physical disabilities. So I just kind of assumed he had a mental impairment of some sort. The fact he was cheerful about being a WM greeter added to this assumption. Nope. Turns out he also only worked at WM for insurance for himself and his kids, but his real job was owning a long-standing karate school and he, himself, was a multi-level black belt. Don't remember what level. He never knew I'd originally assumed he was mentally disabled. And I learned a very valuable, and lasting, lesson about assumptions and judging people by job or appearance. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.